Nature is a beautiful and mysterious force that hosts a whole array of insects that have learned how to make incredible and oftentimes unbelievable nests. From homemade out of spit bubbles to literal log cabins. In today's video, we will take a look at 12 insect homes that must be seen to be believed. Our number one pick will introduce you to one of nature's most incredible architects. You will definitely not want to miss it. 12. Weaver Ant The weaver ant weaves a nest out of tree leaves that are very high up and fashions them into a canopy. To achieve this, a team of ants forms bridges with their bodies to bring the leaves together, while another fetches the larva from an existing ant nest. These worker ants hold the larva in their jaws and gently squeeze them while walking along the leaf edges. On squeezing, the weaver ant larva produces a fine silk fiber that glues the leaves in place. As more and more leaves are dragged along, a pile of fresh leaves lined with a white silk form a mat. Because of strong winds and wilting, the worker ants are constantly making repairs to their incredible canopy-style nest. 11. Osmia ovaceta mason bee once the Osmia ovaceta species of mason bee find a suitable nesting site, it digs a burrow a few centimeters down into the loose dirt. Here, it constructs the first outer layer of its three-layered home by using petals that it steals from flowers in the area. It then smears the petals on the inside with moist soil. Once the layer is dried, the mason bee collects more petals to line its jar-shaped nest with, eventually creating a sandwich of soil between the petals. Once the home is complete, the female mason bee will fit it with food before laying an egg. Before leaving, the bee will close the entrance by folding the petals down and coating them with soil. This will allow the newborn bee to be safe from the elements and predators while having plenty of food to help it grow big and strong. The flower petals don't only retain moisture for the larva, but also stops the nest from flooding. What is more, the air trapped inside of it will keep the nest afloat if the area is hit by an extremely heavy flood. 10. Eastern Tent Caterpillar Moth This species of moth is named after the tent-like nests it builds when in caterpillar form. When their eggs hatch in early spring, the temperature is still extremely low. To combat this, up to 300 emerging caterpillars gather on trees to spin a silk tent. During the day, the temperature in the tent is higher than it is outside, and this in turn raises each caterpillar's body temperature and increases its metabolism. Their homes are made of thin layers of silk using tree branches as points of attachment. The caterpillars will expand their nest four times a day by all stages of their growth, except for the last stage, which saves its silk to spin a cocoon. The exit and entryways of the tent are found where branches stick out from the structure. When caterpillars have to feed, they group up to leave the nest and travel to places where they can feed safely. 9. Spinifex Termite Popularly known as the Cathedral Termite, the Spinifex Termite is found in the Spinifex or Hummock grasslands of Australia. It builds massive tower-like mound nests out of sand and clay. Millions of grass-eating termites occupy a single mound, which can weigh over 20 tons, depending on the amount of work that has gone into it. Mounds often vary in shape and size from colony to colony. Some have blunt tops, while others have cathedral-like points. Some have smooth walls, while others are bulbous ones. Soldier termites guard the nest against attackers by spraying chemicals from the tip of a tube called the nasus. This special chemical also kills parasites trying to take hold of the colony. Do you often watch videos like this one? If you subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell, you will get a message the second we upload a new video. 8. Acrobat Ant Known for lifting their heart-shaped lower half when threatened, Acrobat ants live and nest high up in the trees. They make spheroid-shaped carton nests that look like flattened balls by mixing chewed up plants with soil. Nests can range anywhere from the size of a golf ball to a football. They are often constructed on twigs but sometimes are found on branches and tree trunks. They make these clever homes by draping a single layer of carton over the chosen twigs, repeating the process to thicken the layers. The finished nest has several chambers that are interlinked through tiny passages. 
The chambers on the outer sides are added in a downward and outward direction, making the nest waterproof and giving it the appearance of a pogoda, the tiered towers found in Japan. The nest is so inviting, in fact, that the Rufus woodpecker lays its eggs inside of it. 7. Organ Pipe Mud Dauber Mud dauber wasps prefer to make their homes on walls, bridges, and even cliffs, as long as there is easy access to mud and soil. They make their nests on smooth, vertical surfaces sheltered from direct sunlight and rainfall. It is the female wasps that shape the mud nests into a pipe shape before adding partitions so that she can use them for laying eggs. Once their home is complete, the female wasp will bring a pile of several small spiders or a couple of big ones for their young to eat once they have hatched. Before taking mud, a female must check its consistency with her mouth to make sure it is perfect for her nest. Once she is happy with her choice, she will lunge with her jaws, spread out, and scoop up some of the mud. She will then pass the mud down onto her front legs and lunge forward again to scoop some more mud into her mouth before flying away with the heavy load. With all the mud she brings to the nest site, she makes a strip starting in the middle and works it down to meet the surface. She will then do this again on another side. The finished nest has an inverted V-shaped striped appearance on the outside while looking smooth on the inside. While the female works hard to make the home perfect, a male mud dauber guards it. If you think that this nest is absolutely incredible, we guarantee our last two entries will blow you away. 6. Bonehouse Wasp The Bonehouse Wasp could be the most gruesome of all the insects on our list. Their hollow nest has several chambers, in each of which the female lays its eggs. Each small section is separated by a thin wall of soil and stocked with a paralyzed spider for the waking larva to eat. Before the female leaves the nest for good, however, it packs the outer chambers with the corpses of dead ants. The smell of the ants disguise the larvae and pupae that are growing inside, saving them from predators and parasites that rely on scent to find their victims. One particular species of ant, called the Pachycondyla astuta, is commonly used by the bonehouse wasp. The reason for this is because they are a large and aggressive ants that have a strong smell that deters predators even when dead. This wasp is actually a relatively new discovery and was first found in China in 2014. Before we move on, here's a quick challenge for you. If you can leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and turn on the notifications in less than 5 seconds, you will have 10 years of amazing luck. Hurry up and try it, it actually works. 5. Small Brown Paper Wasp also known as the Australian paper wasp, this species makes nests that look like tiny pan flutes, a folk musical instrument named after a Greek mythical creature. It nests in colonies with several tubes constructed close to each other. Each of these tubes are made up of two rows of cells hanging from a branch or tiny stalk. The wasps make the cells by mixing decaying wood with their hard drying spit. The nest is begun by a group of female wasps, making the first tube the largest before adding the smaller ones later on. To keep the structure cold when temperatures rise in the summer months, the female members fan the tubes with their wings. Like most nests, the males guard the home against intruders, but with the small brown paper wasp, the females also protect it too. Those that bring food back to the lockdown nest must knock on it with their heads, so the guards know that they are friendly. 4. Meadow Spittlebug Members of the spittlebug live in a frothy pile of spit bubbles that they produce from their backsides. Shortly after they hatch during the spring, the bugs go looking for a good position on a meadow plant that is shaded from direct sunlight and the harsh winds. A few minutes into feeding on the plant's juices, the bug's spittle begins to come out and froth. After that, the liquid secretes and begins to partly submerge its body. Then, they inject air into the foam so that it bubbles up and completely covers them up. Once there are enough bubbles of spit covering them, they stop and let it dry out and harden. You've heard about a wasp that stuffs its nests with dead bodies, and a bug that covers itself in spit from its backside. The question is, which one would you least want to live in if you were an insect? Let us know your answer in the comments section below. 3. Leafcutter Bee 
the leafcutter bee builds their nests in existing holes in wood or in the soil. Using its jaws like scissors, it cuts circle leaf discs and uses them to line its nest. After it builds an individual cell with them, it then stocks up on pollen before laying its egg on top. After the first cell is ready, the female then plugs the entryway with another of its circular leaf discs. The leafy partition forms the base of the next cell, on which the new segment is then built on. Once it has done this several times and has achieved lines of tubes, it stuffs the final entrance with more leaves. The amount of work that goes into this nest is incredible. In fact, a single cell can take about 10 hours to build, in which it will take 21 trips to collect leafy material and 18 trips to fetch enough food. It is now that time of the video where we take a look at the very best subscriber pick image that was sent into us. We loved it so much, in fact, that it was the inspiration for this video. As you can see, there are two very unique looking nests that look completely unbelievable. The thing is, they are 100% real. Before we explore them in more detail, why not hit the big red subscribe button and ring the notification bell? That way, you will never miss one of our future videos and will also be able to submit an image to us. Who knows, it might just influence our next video. Two, the bagworm moth. The bagworm moth, which is part of the Lepidoptera family, is considered a pest by botanists. But when it comes to their nests, they are one of the greatest architects of the animal world. As soon as the caterpillar of the bagworm moth hatches, it weaves a fine silk cocoon around itself. It will then live inside of it until it grows into an adult. Although this is the behavior of most moths and butterflies, it definitely separates itself from all other species on the planet. To make its life as a larva safe and protected from attackers, the caterpillar reinforces its silk cocoon with pieces of twigs, leaves, and any other plant matter it can find. Depending on what debris is on hand when they are forming the cocoon, the resulting nest can look like tiny log cabins that offer the ultimate defense. What makes it even more remarkable is that the debris is actually connected to the bagworm itself, meaning that it can move around if needing to pick up a new spot to live in. This also makes it perfect for finding food, pushing its head out of the nest in the same way a turtle does. If the caterpillar feels threatened, it can seal off its bulky cocoon opening until the threat is passed. As the bagworm grows larger, it expands its moving fortress of twigs and debris. They do this by poking their head out of the top of their nest to collect new material, cuts them to the right size, and then leaves them on top of the nest. Then, they will go back inside and cut slits where they want the new material before poking the twigs through. The bagworm moth's nest is incredibly tough and camouflages it from predators such as other insects and birds. 1. Picket Fence Cocoon Researchers on an expedition to the Amazon rainforest in southern Peru have spotted what appears to be a mysterious new kind of cocoon. The cocoon is unlike anything specialists have ever seen before, even believing it to be a new undiscovered species. The bizarre-looking cocoon has a spire in the middle and has what looks like to be thick silk posts circling it, all strengthened by a multitude of connecting silk wires. No one is sure what exactly makes such an intricate nest, but whatever is hatching appears to be hidden away at the bottom of the center spire. The fence appears to hold back predators and may even stick ants and other insects to it, ready to be eaten when the creature reaches the final stage of its metamorphosis. The member of the rainforest expedition who discovered the nest, Troy Alexander, posted the image to a subreddit called What's This Bug? in an attempt to identify it. One answer Troy got suggests that it's not a moth's cocoon, and instead a spider egg nest, where the hatchlings can climb up the pole and sail down on a silken parachute, the fence protecting them the entire time. And that concludes our video on the craziest and most incredibly built nests created by insects. With the skill and patience shown during every step of the process, it is clear how important survival is for these expert architects. Out of all the nests we have shown you in this video, which one do you think is the most advanced? We would love to know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more just like it, why not check out one of our past uploads? Thanks for watching.